It's time for a market update on SHIB and more importantly, where we are looking to buy it during this absolute melting <laughs> that we are seeing across the entire crypto markets. It's disgusting right now. It's disgusting right now. So what are the important levels? Where are we looking to get in? And uh, what should you be doing here to prepare for a potential monstrous bull run over the next year? Uh, and yeah, this could be the great chance you have to find really low entries, not just on SHIB, but a lot of altcoins, okay? Uh, so if we are looking at this, let's just take a look at the structure first, okay? So the structure right now for this run, you can see we hit this. No, you can't. <laughs> You can see that we hit this around 680, okay, uh, and then we hit it again here around 800, 900, that kind of zone, and then we blast it off to the moon, all right? So uh, this is the structure we're looking at right now. If, 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 it, if Shiba Inu does head down here, then what we are looking to do is essentially um, wait for a low to come through, okay? So if we, if we get a nice low and then we reclaim the four-hour volume weighted ATR band here, um, then yeah, we'll be looking for a long and then we'll be looking to absolutely bang it from that point, okay? Uh, obviously, breaking any diagonal descending trend lines is also fantastic for another confirmation of an entry. Okay, so that's what we're looking for right now. Um, one thing I will say is don't just blindly set a, a limit order here, okay? This is probably not a great idea because we don't know where this is gonna stop, okay? Never try and catch a knife uh, like in, in this kind of crazy way. What we wanna see is lows made, we wanna see resistances broken, uh, and as I get a phone call, uh, we want to see uh, areas reclaimed, right, that were previously lost. So we want to see that range reclaimed. We want to see uh, this, um, this descending trend line reclaimed. And obviously, we want to hold this structural support uh, for continuation of this run, okay? Uh, if that is the case, and all of those things, all of those criteria check out, then first of all, I will be letting you guys know with a video, okay? So feel free to subscribe and like the video, of course. Uh, and then secondly, yes, uh, we need we need take profits along the way. So uh, yes, if, if we do head down here, then what we're gonna be looking for is essentially a first take profit around the four hour volume weighted ATR band. So all the way to the other side, okay? And that could be a monstrous trade to say the least 37%. You can't complain. You can't complain here with SHIB. Um, and then obviously, yeah, from that point, we can let it ride. But what we really want to see here uh, to let this ride and continue uh, a bull run, right, is to get above that. Similar to like we've got below it here, right? But if we can get above that range, then we can basically just ride this up and use it as our stop loss, right? And we can see that across a lot of different charts and a lot of different assets that these ATR bands do work on. You can see it in this most recent pump, right? As soon as we lost this bad boy, it was a descent into the abyss, okay? Uh, but similarly to the other side, as soon as we reclaim this, it's a great sign, and we see this across a lot of assets, right? It's a great sign that we do get that pump, okay? So that's what we're looking for. We need the structural lines to hold, okay? We need basically 1,300 to hold here for SHIB. I know it's at 1,700 right now, which, uh, yeah, 1,300 is quite far away, but if we do get a monstrous crash here for Bitcoin, and Bitcoin is not looking much more, <laughs> more bullish, it will drag the rest of the markets down, okay? And, and some of these altcoins I'm seeing on the right-hand side are going going into the minus 10% here. So uh, SHIB may be slightly luckier <laughs> compared to those coins, right? Uh, but yeah, we're looking for something a little bit like this where uh, we do actually reclaim that, we run it to the other side, and then we just kind of watch to see if that momentum wants to continue. Uh, if, if we don't make a low here, right, and we do continue down, we're gonna be looking to do the same thing essentially uh, at this next structural line, okay? So this next structural line is about 700. I know this would be obliteration, okay? This would be disgusting for a lot of people's portfolios, but as a non-biased trader, I will be looking for that edge, okay? I will be looking for that because it's a beautiful edge and it's an edge that I will execute with no bias and no remorse, okay? And <laughs> if you if you execute this edge as well, then uh, feel free to uh, let me know in the comments because it is is a massive edge. And if you have something similar, yeah, I mean, I'm happy for you, for sure. I'm happy for you making money out here, all right? Uh, but that's pretty much it for SHIB. If we are looking in terms of pattern structure okay we can see this top line which will be important uh, one little bit of hope here you could do is uh, is drag this in a parallel fashion and if it is going to be something like this obviously we haven't made a low we haven't made two lows here uh, to kind of confirm this line yet but if we do head up from this point we will actually make that low so not only can we get along inside this pattern 
but uh, we can also get a beautiful measure move towards the downside or the upside depending on how this goes right so if we do make a low in this area and then we lose that low uh, over a few days obviously we're on the daily chart right then we could probably find a short here somewhere around four, uh, 1500 that kind of area uh, all the way down to about 13 to really recoup any losses uh, that were that were made from acquiring this coin okay but uh, as of right now uh, yeah I'm, I'm pretty much out of this thing once we did lose this area I got out and uh, I got out of quite a few altcoins actually but uh, yeah I'm looking to just enter lower really more than anything I'm not super bearish on anything I'm just looking to enter lower but uh, yeah if, if we do make this low here just kind of confirming and uh, summarizing my points we will have a measure move potential here uh, which again we talked about if we reclaim this four hour uh, it will align perfectly there right so if we made a low here we'll be looking to enter here and then have a massive trade towards the upside uh, which will be potentially 42 in terms of a measure move which is great okay so that's really what I'm looking for here with SHIB hopefully you have enjoyed this video I will see you uh, very very soon hopefully uh, yeah hopefully this made sense to you let me know in the comments if you have any questions again I'm here to help you guys that's why I do this uh, I've been doing this a very very long time uh, so yeah if you if you want to support the channel in any way be sure to do so but uh, yeah that's gonna be it for the video cheers and thank you very much